Okay, we are out on a beautiful day. I'm on the back roads of Antioch slash Brentwood, California. Look at that view. This is Mount Diablo, little reservoir, Marsh Creek Reservoir here. I hope we could pick it up. Look at that view. Let me go down and get a shot with my uh, phone so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Well, if I turn, <laughs> if I turn the phone on, that might help. <laughs> if I get it stop, stop facing me, that might help I right, also. This is my backyard. Tony Reno, you was asking what my backyard looked like. This is my backyard. The mountain view. Right there. If you can see it, that's Mount Diablo. <laughs> Y'all know what Diablo means in Spanish. Anyway, this is Richard Boots and Jeans Rider just riding out. Having a good time riding the back roads out here in California. Got all my heated gear on. It's freezing out here. Probably about 70 degrees freezing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't have no heated gear on, even though these are my heated gloves. But, there's yeah, something I want to talk about today. And, if I get my kickstand down. A couple of questions I want you guys to answer today. The challenge that was put on by Moto G Spot. That's Moto G Spot. M O T O, the letter G, and Spot. He had a three question challenge. He called it a G challenge. And I'm going to cover these three questions. Pose it to you guys out there who are watching. And make sure you answer in the comments below. Or do a video with the three questions. So here we go. Question number one. The first question is, what's the most fun? What's the most fun that you ever had on a motorcycle? Now, it wasn't hard for me to answer this question. The most fun I ever had on a motorcycle was riding with my wife Kate. Now, she rides her own bike. But, I'm specifically talking about a ride that we've done. Our very first cross-country long-distance ride, it was about, I think, 7,100 miles, which included Mount Rushmore. You know, we've done a northern part of the United States, and we rode Route 66 from Chicago to L.A. Well, actually, we went up to Michigan first, then got back into Chicago and rode Route 66 all the way home, standing on Route 66. The reason why this is the most fun is because it's our very, very first ride. We didn't do any planning. We didn't do any, ask anybody any questions. We just packed our bikes and left. And she rode it on her Honda Shadow Arrow 750, which a lot of people say, oh, he's not gonna be comfortable, but hey, it is what it is. And we've done a video on that, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and search for that video. I think that video is named Cross Country and Route 66. Subscribe to the channel, you'll see it. That's my plug-in <laughs> for people to subscribe. That's my plug-in. Anyway, this was a, a beautiful, wonderful trip. We had, had a blast on it. I mean, you watch the video, you're going to like it, uh, hopefully love it. And we just had a fan fantastic time and every time we watch that video we get emotional now we done had a lot of epic rides since then and a lot of rides that we want to, don't want to put in a number category but that was the most fun because it was our maiden voyage cross-country ride anyway that's question number one now on to question number two question number two is what is the scariest thing that you ever done on a motorcycle 
what is the scariest thing that you ever done on a motorcycle? Question number two. Nice red barn. Oh, it's a beautiful day. We got greenery because we got a little rain out here in California finally. And the hills and everything are beautiful with it rain out here. And this is one of my favorite back roads. Okay, back to the question. Question number two. The scariest thing I've done on a motorcycle. I went down before, almost ran off the road, but never did it. But that wasn't the scariest thing. The scariest thing to me on a motorcycle was we were riding some twisty back roads here in California. You know, we got thousands of them. Headed to Lake Berryessa in Northern California. Those of you who know it, I'm sure Tony Reno know it. <laughs> uh, Lake Berryessa had many roads to lead into it and a lot of twisty roads. I was riding uh, number two position and uh, the lead had a little gap on me because I really wanted to run it so I wasn't close on him. And we came to a wooded area and lo and behold, riding through the wooded area, a deer jumps out and runs right across from right to left. And it was almost as he just waited for me to come just to jump out and hit me. Now, the deer did hit me. I did not go down on a bike. Let me finish the story. The deer jumped over my front tire and his toe, nail, or foot, or what have you, actually hit my tire and kind of shook my bike. And that scared the living, let's say, the living daylights out of me. And I was rattled. Of course, I completed the ride. We got to Lake Berryessa and we had a good time. I was talking about it and reminiscing and one of the guys did see the deer run and wasn't sure did it did it hit me or not but yes it did hit the, my back tire and it scared me more than anything else because you know deer get focused in headlights but it was the middle of the day so I guess you can't say that and there was nothing I could do about it now I know a lot of people always saying well if you went down or you crashed you were doing something wrong there's no one on this planet reflex or that quick when animals decide to react. Trust me. And if so, tell me who it is. <laughs> I want to meet that person. So that's question number two. The scariest thing that happened to me was a deer actually hit my bike. And I was fortunate, blessed, and that I did not get injured and did not go down that day. I was rattled for about a week. But I got back on a bike and kept riding. So that was my scariest thing. That was my question number two. Now on to question number three. Ooh, lovely day, lovely day. Love these back hills. Question number three was, what is it on a bike that you will never do again? And I know some of you guys got some wild stuff. So... Make sure you write in the comments below or perhaps do your own video responding to this video and responding to Moto G Spot. I want to thank him for putting that challenge out there. Question number three, what, what you never do on a bike again? And <laughs> for me, it is I would never, never again underestimate how thick gravel is on the side of the road cake and I was doing a actually coming home from another cross-country motorcycle trip where we rode route 66 again for the second time and we was coming out of Oakland Arizona headed back to California and we missed the sign we turned right when we should have turned straight. I mean, we should have went straight. We turned right and we should have went straight. And Cake said, hey, I think we missed our exit. And I said, okay, we pulled over on the side of the road. I said, wait here, I'm gonna make a U-turn and go back and look at that sign. So I made the U-turn, went back, uh, saw the sign, but I couldn't see it by looking backwards. So I decided to make another U-turn and this is beautiful. I gotta sit around this corner. I gotta concentrate a little bit. There we go. And I decided to pull on the side of the road 
to look at the sign instead of stand on the blacktop, instead of stand on the street. And I pulled on side of the road, I saw the gravel. Now, the street was probably about 30 feet, so I could have easily made a U-turn and stay on the street. But I decided to pull off to the side, see the sign, and then call Cake and tell her to come back. And, uh, because we, we missed the sign. But what did I do? I pulled on the side, went in that gravel, didn't look to see if it was hard to pack gravel. I just pulled on the side, just thinking, you know, it's hard packed. Didn't, didn't look at it. I'm going to pull over here. <laughs> Got to show you what I'm talking about. I pull over the side. Like right now, I'm running on a little gravel, which don't bother me. I pull on the side, and I went in gravel, probably as deep and thick as this mud down here. And my bike stopped and fell over to the right side even though my wheel was to my left <laughs> so there was nothing i could do the bike was fully packed i had to take all the gear off to make it light and i still could not pick the bike up by myself because of the thickness of the gravel my feet kept slipping so i'm waiting then i finally see cake make her u-turn come back and make another dude she was smarter than me she didn't go on the gravel come back and two guys driving trucks passed by and asked did I need any help and I said yes so they helped us it took four of us to get the bike up once we got the bike up we still couldn't move it because the minute I try to put it in gear and go it sank as if I was in mud like this like a truck or a car stuck in the mud you guys know what I'm talking about and that was that's why they say I would never underestimate the thickness of gravel and if I have to make my U-turns and there's gravel on the side, I just gonna stay on a packed part right here. So that's the three answers to my question. Now I've written on gravel many times before. I mean, we rode six miles in gravel and took us an hour to get through it. Six miles in deep gravel before. But now I know if I get ready to pull over and there's gravel on the side, I need to look and make sure it's compact before I do so. I would never underestimate <laughs> I would never, ever, ever again underestimate the thickness of gravel. So that's that. So Moto G Spot, there you are. I answered your three questions. Anybody else who watch it, make sure you comment below and answer those three questions. One was, what was the most fun you ever had on a bike? Number two, the scariest thing on a bike that you've done on a bike. And number three, what would you never do again on a motorcycle? It's a car trying to pull out in front of me. So anyway, that's all I have for now. So I want you guys to make sure that you ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. I'm Rich from Boots and Jeans Rider. Make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and hit the bell after you subscribe so you can be notified when we put out more videos. Until then, ride safe. Peace. Ooh, what a lovely day. What a lovely day. Man, I'm enjoying this. Back roads of Antioch in Brentwood, California. <laughs>